Hey YouTube, Make My Marvel here with a uh, kind of a different unboxing. Um, this is a spinner rack and uh, it's specifically designed for CGC or slabbed comics. And you see it's from the uh, the collector spinner rack. Um, I believe it's like spinnerrack.com might be their website. But um, I saw this as an offering from uh, CGC sent out an email and uh, you know, the thing was like, uh, I don't know, I think this thing was close to like $350 or 400 bucks, something like that. But uh, it seems to be a one-man operation. The guy that kept in touch with me, his name was Jim, uh, through email. Uh, he was real good about communication and updating me on uh, when this thing was going to be, uh, you know, shipped and, and the process. So as far as customer service and communication so far, uh, that's been really good. Um, you know, I'd haven't seen this thing i've never owned one before but uh i don't know it looks like a nice product and if it does what it says it does which is hold graded slab comics and it's not broken uh i'll probably be pretty happy with it uh, it comes in two colors this is the black one it comes in a white as well um so let's get this thing opened up and take a look at all right just took the top cover off you know cut it so right there and Let's see what this looks like. Looks like there's some assembly required here. I think they said this can hold up to like 75 comics or something, 75 graded comics or something along those lines. Not exactly sure. What do we got? What do we got? Spinner, cotter pin. All right, so it looks like a little, uh, little directions. I, I can't see why this would be that difficult to put together, but whatever. Uh, looks like the plates, which might be the um, We Love Comics or something like that for, uh, for up top. Wholesome Comics Entertaining. Pretty neat. The best in comics. So a couple of signs. I'll, I'll show those a little more, but it looks like they might each say a different saying. And uh, you can see it's down there in the box. So let me, uh, let me try and get this thing out. Okay, so out of the box, it comes in two pieces. Um, the base with a ball bearing disc to rotate, and then the rack itself. Um, the base has got real nice weight to it. The whole thing weighs, um, the shipping weight was 35 pounds. So it seems like, you know, got some weight to it. Um, you know, shouldn't have to worry about it tipping over or anything like that. But uh, it looks like you just kind of simply put the rack on top of the, the stand. All right, and then these uh, two pieces are the sign holders. You can see it's got some male ends and some female ends. Obviously, put the male ends into the female ends and stick it on top of the uh, the rack. All right, and then after you have the little you know card box together, you can see it kind of just slides right on in, it drops be you know goes over that beam and that beam and just kind of drops right in and sits there. Um, it spins real nice, real smooth, no squeaks. Seems to be pretty good. Let me just take these signs here. These are uh, nice, thick, glossy plastic to them. So you just kind of go up in, up in here, however you like it. It almost seems like they'll get drop right out the bottom though, right? So I don't know, might have to go together a little tighter. Um, so I'll try and push the, uh, push this thing together, see if that works on it. I might not have, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I might not have um, the male end into the female uh, all the way. So let me try and push that together a little bit more. All right, so there, uh, you know, there's a sign on the spinner racks here. There's four, you know, each one says a different, different thing. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, like this one, this is the only one here, but there's... Um, Little bits, little tiny metal plates underneath the side here that are supposed to keep, you know, these from sliding all the way down. 
this one for some reason like the the plate just doesn't stick out enough to really catch the sign so it like drops you know it drops down below there or it drops below on that side there so that's the only real hang up with that um i'll contact uh jim the owner see if you know he's got a got any fix for it um it's not you know it's not something terrible but when you spent like i said this thing i think it was about 400 bucks it should be you know you shouldn't have that that issue with it other than that like the the powder coating on it um is real nice it's a nice shiny glossy black spins real good but you know i guess the real test would be uh does it hold a great graded comic so let's pick uh let's grab one off the wall here and we'll throw it in Ooh, look at that so the question would be how many graded comics does each slot hold <laughs> Let's see. So that holds two. And I doubt we're going to give it a shot. But I don't know if that'll fit a third. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's real tight. Real tight. I don't know. I think you might possibly scratch the cases if you try and get a third one in there. So, I'd say about two comics per slot. Um, so, these are, you know, two uh, Silver Age comics that are in there uh, with the cases. Let's grab, uh, let's grab like a magazine one here. Magazine size comic. Grab a little... Little Santana action. I want to say that this thing is going to be way too big. Well, again, we'll, we'll try. Oh yeah, not even close. Nope. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something else here. We got any thicker cases than the regular ones? Uh, here's a Marvel superheroes. This might be on the thicker side of the uh, the CGC cases. I'm not paying attention to the camera at all, so if I get completely off camera, I apologize. That one fits in there fine. I assume it would fit fine in there too. Yeah. Obviously up top, um, on the top one because there's no other. Um, rack right behind it you can fit probably three in the top rack but the rest of them look like you know they're just going to hold two two cgc comics a piece um if you have the old style rack comics uh or old style cgc cases like this one here uh that's much thinner that you can probably actually get away with um with three yeah, I'd say you could probably get away with three in that one. Let me see if I can find three of the old style. Here's another old style. That's two. Let's see if we can get a third one in there. One more. One more. Yeah, so the older CGC cases... You can fit uh, three um, in them. You can see the, the difference in thickness between one one of the new cases and the older ones. Uh, what else? Ah, CBCS. All right, let's check out a CBCS grading comic. I'm sure there'll be no problem here. These are uh, much thinner cases as well. Yep, so that fits in there fine. And this one here... You know, they're about the same thickness as uh, the CGC ones. Um, so I'm sure you could probably fit uh, three um, CBCS in each uh, each tray as well. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. Like, I clearly don't want it in the middle of the room here. 
I don't really have any room for it, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I went ahead and wasted some money on it. Well, spent some money. Might not have wasted money. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. I want to, just trying to figure out if there's anything else I could show you guys. Let's see. I think the new Mutants comic there, that's pretty much the same size as a magazine case. Um, I think that that's really it. That's really it. All right, hey, if you stuck around with me for this long, I apologize. But uh, thanks for watching anyways. All right, everybody have a good night.